Just how bad are capitalists? In order to be able to play golf in the cold winter, they sent a group of people in protective clothing to spray green fertilizers on the lawn at night. Little did they know that this fertilizer contained a deadly virus. Fertilizers pollute the groundwater, and the virus finds its way into homes throughout the island through tap water. People drank the virus-laden water and turned into zombies with green eyes. The zombies became bloodthirsty and started attacking other people. Police officer Johnson came to the island after receiving the call. I thought it was a simple neighborhood dispute. When Johnson rang the doorbell, Johnson heard a strange sound turned around and saw the old lady rushing towards this side, and Johnson was so scared that he ran away, fortunately, the zombie's legs and feet are inconvenient, Johnson returned to the car after a few laps, Johnson realized that the situation was not good and hurriedly called the headquarters for support, but did not receive any response, Johnson then called his daughter Annie who was working on the golf course, but Johnson didn't know that Annie was being besieged by zombies. In the evening, Jack took a bottle of drink from the refrigerator as usual, but when Jack was about to drink, he suddenly found that something was wrong with his mother, Seeing his mother rushing towards him, Jack was so scared that he ran outside, and his mother followed closely behind. Jack accidentally tripped over the steps. At this time, a car passed by and knocked Jack's mother into the air. It turned out to be Johnson. He warned Jack not to approach his mother, and told Jack to go home quickly and not to go out. Before he finished speaking, several zombies appeared not far away. Jack dragged his mother with a broken leg back home and closed the door before the zombie arrived, but the crying of the younger sister made the zombie become restless, and the mother also crawled over following the sound. Jack had to shut her in the bathroom before putting the plush toy in the crib, the younger sister stopped crying, and the zombies outside were also quiet, in order to prevent news of the virus from leaking. The capitalists blew up the only channel connecting the island, and the wires were also blown up. Early the next morning, Jack came to the bathroom, but he didn't notice his sister was following him, the younger sister has come to the mother's side. Seeing this, Jack hardly yelled and led his mother out of the bathroom. Unexpectedly, when passing the living room, his mother accidentally touched the tripod of the TV cabinet, and the falling TV killed Jack's mother on the spot. Jack is going to take his sister out of here, because the food at home has been eaten up. Looking at the zombies outside, Jack thought of a way, and the cat he had raised for two and a half years finally came in handy, while the cat was not paying attention. Jack decisively opened the door, and used the cat as bait, Jack took his sister to the street, but the zombie followed, so Jack could only run to the supermarket, when I came to the door, I found that the door was blocked, and the other doors were the same, just when Jack was desperate, a pair of big hands pulled him in, Johnson has found his daughter, but unfortunately, Annie has become a zombie, Johnson wanted to call the police, but was hung up on, Johnson had to call the host of the radio station, because no one was willing to take the risk to save them because he didn't know the infection situation of the virus on the island, now they can only rely on themselves, the source of the virus outbreak must now be found. Johnson suspects that there is something wrong with the water source, because the only way to infect the entire island overnight is tap water, Jack also said he never drank tap water, so he was not infected. So they plan to go to the water plant to find out, meanwhile, a pair of twin sisters have dived to the island, they are killers sent by mysterious organizations to erase everything. It turns out that the zombie virus was created by this organization and the golf course owner Pete, meanwhile, Pete was destroying evidence of his cooperation with them, two killers have found Pete, not only did they bring an antidote to eradicate the virus, but they also killed Pete in order to get rid of the trouble. On the other side, Johnson and his team had already arrived at the water plant. As soon as they entered the interior, Annie suddenly ran in a frenzy and finally jumped into a sewage pool. Johnson took off his jacket and followed into the pool. As soon as he picked Annie up, a zombie appeared in front of him. Seeing the opponent rushing towards him, Johnson hastily blocked it with Annie. Zombie stopped attacking immediately when he smelled the same kind, but Jack made a sound. and the zombie chased Jack and ran outside, fortunately, Jack hid in the car and escaped, when Johnson pulled Annie, he broke Annie's arm, but finally brought Annie out, zombie immediately surrounded them, but fortunately Annie was in front of them, and Johnson got back to the car safely, looking at the green arm, Jack was surprised to find that it was covered with grass, Johnson suddenly realized that the source of the virus was not in the water plant at all, but in the golf course, in order to eliminate the source of the zombie virus, the killer has released an antidote on the lawn, and Johnson and others also came to the stadium, they entered the hall, trying to find the cause of the virus here, Johnson locks Annie up, and Jack surrounds his sister with chairs, then the two began to search around, but it didn't take long before Jack's sister kept crying, Jack had to go to his sister, Johnson continued the search, he came to the interior of the building, and found that many bombs were placed here, just as Johnson was about to dismantle the bomb, he suddenly felt something strange in his body. It turned out that when he was at the water factory, he accidentally drank the water in the pool, and Johnson would immediately mutate into a zombie, seeing that the countdown to the bomb was about to end. Johnson dismantled the bomb at the last moment of losing consciousness, the killer who was about to leave found that the bomb did not explode, so he turned back again, Jack came to the hall but found that his sister was gone, he looked around anxiously, 
but he didn't know that his sister had been discovered by the killer. The killer took out the virus particles and put them on the ground, luring his sister to eat the virus. The two left the scene immediately when they heard someone approaching. Jack who rushed over didn't find anything unusual, picked up his sister and left. At this time, Johnson has completely mutated. A as soon as Jack came to the hall, he was surrounded by two killers. The killer strangled Jack's neck from behind and the other killer covered his sister's mouth, ready to inject the virus into Jack. At T the critical moment, the younger sister mutated and bit off the killer's finger in one bite. Johnson who turned into a zombie also arrived. The other killer was about to shoot, but was pushed by Jack towards Johnson, and the killer was bit by Johnson. Jack stepped on the fallen antidote just as he backed away. The younger sister took a big puff, and the virus in her body began to slowly disappear, but they were targeted by Johnson. Jack hugged his sister and fled immediately, seeing that he was about to be bitten, Johnson suddenly stopped attacking. It turned out that the virus in the younger sister's body saved them, both killers were bitten. So they shot each other to finish off, Jack locked Johnson and Annie together, and took pictures of everything that happened with his mobile phone, and posted the videos online. The incident began to be reported by major media. And Jack's nanny also saw the news, under the pressure of public opinion, the military had to send troops to land on the island, and they began to clean up zombies on the island, Jack carried his younger sister outside, at this time. The virus in her body had completely disappeared, but the mission of the military was to eliminate all potential safety hazards, including survivors, Jack hid immediately when he saw this, and Johnson, who had recovered to normal, was not spared either. Get cleaned up with Annie. With nowhere to go, Jack came to the shore and saw a small boat approaching. It turned out that the nanny came to rescue him, the siblings became the only survivors on the island. But Jack took the severed arm with him and threw it into the sea, a fish gnaws on a virus-laden arm, and it looks like the crisis isn't over. 